Funding for this series has been provided by this station and other public television stations. You may order the companion book to The Day the Universe Changed by calling the number on your screen. In his book, award-winning author and BBC correspondent James Burke charts a course of human achievement in the search for knowledge and discovery. This hardbound edition is superbly illustrated with 352 pages. Call toll-free 1-800-441-3000 to order your copy. The price is $27.50 plus handling. And please have your credit card ready when you call. It's 1-800-441-3000 to order The Day the Universe Changed. I'm James Burke. Next time on The Day the Universe Changed, discover how Rome built Florence in a way. See how we see and get some perspective on perspective. Join me for some library study when we discover ways to map out another day the universe changed. The hero of the Wild West, the cowboy. In the late 19th century, he became a larger-than-life matinee idol. While heroes like Buffalo Bill Cody found new arenas for their spectacular feats, show business inflated the legend and created the West of the Imagination. Next on WBCN 8. If you up the ante or hit the jackpot, you're talking American English. Holy cat, who dealt this mess? You did. It's the real McCoy. You call him a cowboy, cow poke, cow puncher, cow hand, ranch hand. But if somebody calls you a hand, it means you're real good at your job and be proud of it. Next on The Story of English. Join us tonight at 9, WDCN 8. We have another comedy special coming up on PBS, and when it comes to political humor, I believe that both parties have equal claim on hilarious behavior in the White House. We put the president's pictures on the money, should also put them on bubblegum cards, so kids can say, I'll trade you one Gerald Ford win button for a Jimmy Carter killer rabbit. I'll swap you two cans of Billy Beer for one of Ronnie's ketchup sandwiches. Wednesday night at 7, WDCN 8. than seven decades of war and peace, triumph and tragedy. Naval aviation has played a critical role in the history of America as a world power. Watch this fascinating 90-minute special presentation of the history of naval aviation. Wings over water. Right here, Wednesday night at 7.30, WDCN 8. Hello, I'm Selena Clay, foster care and adoption on the next Informer. Join us this Saturday at 4 o'clock on WDCN 8. WDCN 8, Nashville, Tennessee. This program is made possible by the Nelda C. and H.J. Lutcher Stark Foundation owner and operator of the Stark Museum of Art in Orange, Texas, and Nelda C. Stark. The companion book, To the West of the Imagination, is a superbly illustrated hardbound volume and can be ordered now through this toll-free number. The 416-page book features 150 color plate reproductions and 200 black and white of the famed artists seen in this series. Order now by calling 1-800-441-3000. The price is $34.95 with a Visa or MasterCard. And please have your credit card ready when you call. If you up the ante or hit the jackpot, you're talking American English. Holy cat, who dealt this mess? You did. It's the real McCoy. You call him a cowboy, cow poke, cow puncher, cow hand, ranch hand. But if somebody calls you a hand, it means you're real good at your job and be proud of it. Next on The Story of English. Next on WDCN 8. 
We have another comedy special coming up on PBS, and when it comes to political humor, I believe that both parties have equal claim on hilarious behavior in the White House. We put the president's pictures on the money, should also put them on bubblegum cards, so kids can say, I'll trade you one Gerald Ford win button for a Jimmy Carter killer rabbit. I'll swap you two cans of Billy Beer for one of Ronnie's ketchup sandwiches. Right here, Wednesday night at 7, WDCN 8. For more than seven decades of war and peace, triumph and tragedy, naval aviation has played a critical role in the history of America as a world power. Watch this fascinating 90-minute special presentation of the history of naval aviation. Wings over water. Join us Wednesday night at 7.30, WDCN 8. Hey, Fuzzy. Mm. Ever think about those things we take for granted? You mean like fish hooks? No, no, I mean stuff we can't live without, like clean water. Come on. If clean water is so important, then why do people waste it and pollute our rivers and streams? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we just don't think about it. But you know what? We should. Mm. For some free tips on how you can use water wisely, write to Kermit, National Wildlife Federation, Washington, D.C., 20036. Who are you talking to? Hmm? The other day, a friend and I were talking about a show on Channel 8. Well, like me, and like you, she doesn't have much time to watch TV. But when she chooses to relax with TV, she makes sure she checks out what's on Channel 8. The quality shows on Channel 8 entertain. And you know, she said it just right. She said, when I watch public TV, I'm not wasting my time. Informative while entertaining. Channel 8. TV worth watching. Quick, write this down. Good Health, Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. Now you can send for a free packet of government health information on diet, exercise, and more. Do it now. WDCN 8, Nashville, Tennessee. The Story of English. Funded by a grant from General Foods Corporation. General Foods where ideas are growing to satisfy a demanding world. And the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation. The companion book to the story of English is available through